Alright, good morning guys. We're on our way to help out another mechanic who's got a problem with a CGAM chiller. Something about an expansion valve and a communication loss. So let's go see if we can help him out. Alright, so here's the uh, CGAM. We're going to hook up the uh, laptop and see what we can see here. The TXB's been disconnected, so it looks like we're gonna have to do some try to do some binding here first. So let's look at that. Uh, we got circuit one just fired up. Presser one. Alright, we got circuit one running, uh, one compressor, 125 suction pressure, and our uh, 36% on the EXP. Alright. This thing does run high head. We've got some pretty corroded condensers on this. So we know they are slated to be replaced, but we're trying to keep them limping along as long as possible until that time comes. But uh, yeah, there is a project in the works here. All right, you can see we did have some uh, com loss on the expansion valve for uh, circuit one, but uh, before I got here, we went ahead and took apart the harness and cleaned it up good with uh, some contact cleaner, put it back together, and. I haven't even plugged the, the laptop in yet, so we're uh, just firing it back up to see what's going to work or what's not going to work. But we do have uh, circuit 2 shut down. There is a uh, compressor fault on uh, compressor 2B. Alright, circuit 1, compressor 2 just came on. And um, they have some goofy sprinklers tied to these things, so uh, doing what they can to keep it running. I don't really agree with this, because all it's going to do is speed up the corrosion. Every time it shuts off and dries out, you leave even deposits on these coils. Uh, who am I? Uh, I just work here. Alright, see so we're running roughly 410. we got some flutter going on there. Uh, pretty much true to what the transducer is saying. It might be even slightly higher, but it's probably starting to strain. But you see what's going on there with the water spraying on that thing. All right, we're 116, 117, and I've got an approach of 7.8 for. PXG position is 57%. The water in 54, leaving 47. Circuit 2. We are only running on one compressor. We had that one uh, compressor 2 locked out for now. We weren't sure what that fault was, so we're going to take a look at that. Enter circuit 2. We are 370 on this side. No aqua flowing. Alright, so we got our uh, compressor fault for uh, compressor B here on circuit 2. Uh, just tried to start it up and immediately went into fault. So uh, let's see what's going on here. We've got a. It didn't even try to start. Check those sensors out. All right, so it just reset itself back to green. And looking at the fault codes here, we kind of determined we had number two going on, which was 80 milliseconds on, 920 off. And uh, that was a reset delay was active. So. Alright, now we're back into uh, 
another fall. And we've got rapid flashing here in red. Looks like our rapid flashing here. All right, so we've uh, powered off the machine. Obviously, you can see there's no power there. All right, so we're gonna take off. This is contactor for compressor B, and take a look at those contacts. All right, so you can see there's quite a bit of charring there. Um, the contacts weren't welded, but I imagine they're probably not making very good contact when this does go to energize. You can get a better idea what's been going on inside there. So, I wonder if we're just losing the phase through one of those contacts when it tries to energize. Alright, got our contact points pulled out here. And there we go. Started cleaning one up. Uh, we don't have no ones to put in right now, so we're going to try this first and see if it helps. Yeah, you can see these, I mean, they're, I've seen a whole lot worse, but, you know, they're not perfect. Alright, so we got those all cleaned up, I'm going to throw them back in and see if it makes any difference. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and pull compressor one. Actually, compressor A uh, for circuit two. Now oh, these look almost as bad. All right, get those out. Let me see. I mean, they don't feel rough. They just they probably look worse than they are. But since we're here, we'll do a little cleaning on them. Got those all back in and uh, ready to make some fire. Let's try this again. Alright, so we got power back on. We are 203, 207, and 206. 1 2, is good there. So now we know why we were getting this motor protector fault. It's our compressor. The windings are bad. Definitely not good. So we can we'll check around a thousand, but. She's dead. All right, so we're gonna check her to ground. As you can see, the meter is working. Not good. We got our circuit one expansion valve is not happy, so we're gonna try to make it happy. Go ahead. We got a green light. Unable. All right, so that's that didn't work. We're gonna uh, go back in our connection view power this thing off and we're suspecting it's going to be one of those harnesses so we're going to uh, change the harness first and go from there. Okay so we went ahead and 
powered off the machine and changed the three to one harness going into the expansion valve. And we have all happy faces now. Let's try a restart and see if this sucker runs. All right, so that seemed to work. I had to do it a couple times and got circuit one back on, but uh, ended up disconnecting the, uh, the stepper motor and bound it, reconnected it, and just fired back up. So, we did have this working for a while. So. You can definitely feel it's working. Alright, so we got circuit 2 running presser A only, B, dead. And uh, circuit 1, got both running now. And uh, yeah, that, that's still happening. But, anyways, it seems to be staying online now. The XV uh, alarm went away. And that seemed to clear up. So, we got uh, two thirds of a chiller running. Or, Three fourths. How about that? All right, we're gonna leave it like this. Uh, obviously, this chiller's been dead for a while, and uh, it's gonna be replaced very shortly. So, we're starting to bring the water down. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And this was probably all over the place as far as troubleshooting. This thing is a hot mess. And, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. See ya. She's struggling to get down there, but it's going in the right direction.